How's everyone doing today? It is your favorite journalist, Chevy. Before I get into the story, make sure you click that subscribe button just so you could be privy to all my unique takes on dancehall news as it happens. I promise you won't regret it. With that said, Conscience Month. I love when dancehall artists are actively engaged on social media and share high quality content. And Conscience is probably one of the best in dancehall at doing that. Recently, Conscience shared a post about the views on two of his recent videos on his YouTube page. Beautiful and Turn Around. Both videos were dropped two weeks ago, but Turn Around has literally seven times the views of Beautiful. Despite beautiful being a music video. Conscience shared his thoughts on this in his caption saying he's not going to be making thought provoking music anymore and instead he'll only write these songs for others to sing because maybe those songs will hit if someone else was to sing them. So from here on out we'll only be hearing party and gal tunes from the one name Conscience. Shansia quickly chimed in agreement with the post along with many others but there were actually many fans who were disagreeing with Conscience mainly because they wanted him to remain a well-rounded artist. While scrolling through the comments, I saw one woman who was claiming that Turnaround was a much better song than Beautiful. The rhythm Turnaround was on is far more popular and just because it's positive doesn't mean it sounds good. While it's fact that Turnaround is on a very popular rhythm, it's factually not correct to say that Turnaround sounds much better than Beautiful. Now I might be biased considering that Beautiful is currently in my rotation but the production and melody on Beautiful is far superior to almost any party song that Conscience has ever made. You can tell that she has never listened to the song if she's gonna be saying some foolishness like that. I'm just being honest here. Then this woman tried tagging Taurus Riley to validate whatever foolishness she proceeded to say and Taurus respectfully corrected her in a way and might have even put her in her place. And that's why Mr. Singy Singy is so well respected. Even when he's in disagreement with you, he never comes across as hostile. Then of course, there's a back and forth between Conscience and a page called Reggae Music Forever, who I'm gonna call RMF for short. I guess Conscience took exception to RMF saying Conscience was being facetious with this post and that we do it for the love, not for the likes, but bills have to be paid. Conscience went on a bit of a rant saying he's dead serious. Nothing he said was contradictory and that if he was doing it for the money, he would sing 20 turn me on. If you want to read the whole back and forth, just pause the video and read it. I'm going to be continuing. Conscience and RMF ended up coming to an understanding, so be it. Here's my thoughts on all this. In some ways, this news is good and bad for the culture. For one, more sexually charged music means more hit songs from Conscience, meaning more fresh music playing in the parties at Yard and abroad, meaning the expansion of dancehall music internationally. On the other hand, obviously, it's a sad day when a big artist feels like they can't be themselves because the music just isn't getting the traction that it should. And truthfully, Beautiful is a huge tune, but by the same token, I only know the song because Conscience shared it on Instagram last month. Think about it. The song was out for a while without a music video, yet most people never even heard it. For me, I'm all for expanding the culture by any means necessary. If we have to compromise a bit and have the dancehall artists really push the slackness a bit to get the exposure so that people will eventually tune into the positivity, then I say the ends justify the means. Look at someone like Alkaline. This guy went from talking about his mother should have avoided him to talking about how he's asking God to show him the way. So yeah, conscience, man. Do your thing. Make as many party and sex songs as possible please this would be best for all of us do you think my thoughts on this are misguided let me know in the comments below now really quickly before i go one underrated part of conscience post is the fact that he's writing music for others now this isn't a secret this is something many of us knew from long time but i'm still interested in knowing who exactly he's writing for i have a few guesses in mind but i'm going to be keeping that to myself with that said it is your favorite journalist, Jevy. I'm just here trying to keep things short, sweet, and simple for you guys. If you found the information in this video helpful and informative, make sure you subscribe. If you appreciated the quality, leave a like. If you have anything to say to me at all, whether positive, negative, or a question, leave it as a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Until next time.